Well, hello, friends. 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 I'm Andrew from Denver, Colorado, and I'm working on the build system, the tool chain, and the test infrastructure for Serenity OS. What I'm currently working on is adding coverage instrumentation when you build user space with the LLVM tool chain. Uh, first step of that is this patch to LLVM that enables coverage. When I enable coverage in the Serenity build system as well and run tests, I can generate about 540 different profiles from a standard test run. If I check with that with the prof data tool, I can see that Stringlen and uh, string view length were hot in this profile. Uh, next steps for this is to enable it in RCI so we can get some pretty graphs. I am Daniel from Hungary, and I'm working on a faster memset algorithm for Serenity. Memset is one of the hottest functions in our code base because we use it to scrub the memory whenever we allocate on the heap. A few weeks ago, I read a blog post that showed techniques for improving its performance, especially for small sizes. Indeed, small allocations account for 20% of the JS test suite's runtime. With this new algorithm, it runs almost 5% faster. I came up with two functions, one which is fast with hardware-assisted virtualization, and one that is fast with emulated CPUs like here. The dynamic loader will choose the right version at program startup. I'm Jelle from the Netherlands, and I'm currently working a lot on LibGL and LibSoft GPU. I'm mainly concerned with pixels that are not in the right place. Misplaced pixels in Serenity are an affront to human dignity and need to be corrected. My port of TuxRazor, however, is our beacon of perfection in these dark times. I'm Federico from Italy and I used to work on userland stuff, but today I want to show my latest work about reverse iterator. And this is the nice API that produces, for example, in a, in a for loop for a vector of integer. My name is Hendiad Join, and in the past I've been working on the user space emulator, which, as you can see, nearly passes our libm test suite. And in recent days I've been working on plumbing stuff and cleaning up some code in AK and the kernel, for example. I'm Jake from Melbourne, Australia, and I've been working on porting the Mono C Sharp and .NET implementation to Serenity OS. So as it stands right now, with uh, most of the big roadblocks out of the way, we're able to compile some basic C Sharp programs and run them. I'm Kleines Filmröhrchen from Germany, and I'm still working on the audio subsystem in Serenity. Recently, I've been moving Serenity's audio system in the user land to a shared queue. You will not actually be able to hear much of a difference. However, you will definitely see a difference with this other change to the visualization I did. I'm Linus from Germany, living in London, and I've recently been working on some cross-origin checks for the browser. So for example, here we have an iframe, um, just a basic HTML document that tries to ac uh, access the parent window's uh, location. And we load that uh, document from a different origin, so in this case, the local web server. And as you can see, it throws a security error. I'm Sam Bowman from Indiana in the United States, and I'm currently working on a partition editor for Serenity. This is the partition editor I've been working on. It's very much a work in progress, but you can see it here reading a simple MBR partition table. To make this work, I've refactored a bunch of partition-related code out of the kernel and into a new library called libpartition. This allows us to interact with partition tables from kernel and user space without duplicating code, which I think is pretty cool. 
at Tobias and I'm from Germany. And lately, I've got sucked a little bit into fonts. So naturally, I drew some Egyptian hieroglyphs. And since Diogenes added some very cool APL glyphs, I ported GNU APL uh, to Serenity. So this example program produces all the prime numbers up to 100. Over in Pixel Paint, I added alpha masks to the layers. So you can mask the alpha of your layers. Like you would do in Photoshop or other image editing software. I'm Yunanji from the US and I'm working on spreadsheet formulas. Here's an example of what I'm working on for flat curves. Take the formula, put it into any cell. You'll see the cells updating. And now they all have the curved grade. My name is Sjöka Thor and I'm from Stockholm, Sweden. Right now I'm working on emoji flags. I've been adding different kinds of flags to Serenity OS, like this uh, tag sequence flag for a province in Finland, or this Serenity Joiner flag for the Klingon Empire, or this uh, regional indicator flag from Greenland. <laughs> 